Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M60, it's a tier 10 American medium tank. It's located on North East Spawn of Live Oaks and this one is under the command of Mr. Lan. Game on. Well this is a tier 10 premium tank actually, I should have mentioned that because uh, they only gave out the codes for these uh, tanks if you were rather good. It's a 105mm gun mounted in a chassis which is like a modernised pattern tank, an M48. They designed them during the 50s and they were manufactured during the 60s. total of 15,000 of them in total. And it was a reward tank for finishing in the top places of the clan wars. It can do 390 alpha and it will penetrate 268mm of armour with standard ammo and with the premium rounds it will go through 350 so it's pretty good and he's got the heat rounds loaded straight away because he's going to be coming up against soviet heavies and some tier 10 ones at that with pretty serious penetration he's picked his spot behind the houses so he can get shots on the ones that go into the town further along and the 277s there nobody is actually coming yet now he's risking getting penetrated in the side every time he goes up there. Oh, he has been spotted. Gets around into the BR, who pulls away and is no longer, no longer sighted. Well, the EBR doesn't need the premium rounds. He only needs uh, APCR, which is standard. Oh, got spotted again. Now it's an ELC. That's proxy spotted him. There's bound to be some enemy heavies just behind that hill. And the ELC's trying to get away and he's out the game now as well. Now he will go unspotted in a couple of seconds but he's still vulnerable for a short while. That 277 that was seen up there is probably still there. Now Mr. land has got two marks on the barrel already and he's trying to get his third. So he has to keep up the damage rate. That's why he carries so much heat rounds, because you can't do that sort of damage unless you can guarantee that your rounds will pen. Okay, he's found a scorpion, and he's actually loaded the HE rounds straight away because obviously HE will go straight through him, and he's back to heat. And the scorpion's out of luck. Okay, we've got a Wizzy 131G and a Leopard 1. Leopard would make a better target because it's thinner armour. And he spotted the 277. He's on the reverse slope of the hill. Low roll into him. The Leopard's pulled away but the 277's still there. And he's busy with our teammate. Also in the 277 so uh, he's occupied. In the meantime we put a round into the Wizzy 113 GFT. And he goes for it again. Weak spot. Ah, it went to the left, and that's why it didn't pen. The shell actually went to the left and to the harm points, but he aims for the right side again, which is supposed to be the weak spots, but it doesn't go through. It hits the mantlet instead. He's trying to go lower plate now, and he gets that one. It's a high roll, 4-3-4. Four, four. Try and go for the weak spot again. Does, yeah, but this time around he does get it. It's a high roll. Okay, come on. Oh, he's gone. Good. Okay, now, Leopard. He was to our left. Oh, posh. Go for the new device. And he gets it. The low roll, 347. Yeah, he needs to get over there. The, the leopard has actually moved. And he's now over in that yard near the fosh. So we can cut the corners and go straight across. But over in the short distance away, we've got a super conqueror and a torn van. He enters the uh, super conk through his front plate. 357. He might be able to get it when he goes behind the support. That was... Wasted, I think, but I think he felt it was a speculative shot. The leopard's behind that pile of rubble. Not going to get that. Ah, the leopard's appeared on the other side. Okay, how's he going to deal with this one? Go around the edge of the lake? Torvan. Didn't get it in. Going for the side of the turret. Nope, not getting it. It's too angled. Very difficult to pen the turret. Much easier to penetrate the body. No. 
yeah, it's at the moment it's really difficult to take this thing down. You're much better off going for the hole. Oh, he gets one into the turret at last, but it's a low roll for 363. Tormund's down to his last few hit points. The Foshers come into sight. He can't get a roll around into his rear, and he does. High roll, 402, makes more one shot. Okay, he's decided to defend that area over there. And he's sticking around. Looks like the enemy team has actually made it to our cap area. And our tank destroyers are lining up to try and pop them off one by one. We're not going to get a shot on the leopard while he's behind those piles. And there must be somebody watching this area. So Mr. Lance decided that it's probably better for him to join the tank destroyers and defend the cap area. So he's making a quick trot to the far side, the far north on the A line. And he's going to get close to the cap there. Leopard comes into sight. He's this side of the buildings this time. He's, yep, trying to get across. He was umming and ahhing. He wanted that leopard. At the, at the moment, though, in order to get his third mark, he really has to have to maximise the damage. And I think he can maximise the damage at this end. Okay, we've got one tank gone over. He's just on the front of the pole 30. Nice shot. That's a shot into the front. All he only had was the front of the vehicle. Come on, can you get a shot into that char? Yes! 362, low roll again. Char future is a two shot. Wait for it, there you go. Nice. Now he's a one shot. Okay, you could probably get him with a standard round or an HE round for that matter. He's pulled back. Oh, we lost the gorilla. And now we're just down to two players left. Mr. Lan and the object 263. Yeah, the rest of the team just sort of like fell apart back at our, the enemy cap. They didn't decide to follow him back, and now he's in danger. He gets around into the Torn Van, but the Torn Van gets one into him in swell, and trying to go for the loose spot. Yep, gets a high roll. S using up his um, heat rounds. Nope, can't get a shot into the Torn Van before he gets behind the building. And now he's been shot in the ass by the very tank he tried to take out. And he takes out the Fosh, but the Torn Van comes around the corner. Now he's a one shot, hitting the tracks. It's all going to be over very shortly. Can he get the corn farm first? Well, he gets a hit into him, but the corn farm finishes him off with the next round. These things are very difficult to kill. Well, that was the end of the 263. <laughs> Here's the end of battle results and that was a third mark game for Mr. Land in the M60. He only got a second class tanker because he was kind of interrupted in his damage process. You know, were reaping as much damage as he could from the enemy by the enemy actually reaching the other end. And he suddenly realised, yeah, he had to turn around if he was going to get more damage on the enemy. But he was overwhelmed and in the end he couldn't keep them from uh, winning. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He got seven. He got a five for effect for doing more damage in the hit points of his own vehicle. And yes, he was doing a huge amount of damage. Enough to get his high caliber out of that one. And that tipped him over the edge to get the third mark. Sadly, though, couldn't get the uh, win. When you look at the damage, you can see that he was the best player on his team with 7,935 hit points of damage. The highest that the enemy could get was their Leopard 1, the guy who shot him up the rear, the one he wanted to kill, but who ran away initially, then came back. 4,391 hit points went to him. And the third highest damage in the game went to that Tornwagen. Yes, they are very difficult to kill, but they can be killed with the right uh, shots in the right places. When it came to kills, he had the highest number, but he shared it with the Char Future 4 and the Tornvan. And uh, when it came to base XP, it was the enemy team that came out best with the Char Future 4 1181. The Tornvan got 1134, and another one got 1090.
He fired 29 rounds in that game, got 24 direct hits on the enemy, 22 penetrations, damage of 7,935 hit points, of which 2,267 were at more than 300 meters. Seven hits received, six penetrations, one non-penetration. That was the shot that hit the tracks. He was lucky on that, but everything else, well, yeah. The M60 is very much like the M48. It doesn't have great armor, uh, especially when the enemy is firing heat rounds at you most of the time, or premium rounds, so they are going to get penetrations. Four enemy vehicles spotted, 12 enemy vehicles engaged and damaged, and three killed, 2,120 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 68,360 credits, 31,642 from personal missions payout, and 4,380 from the achievements. Total of 140,752 credits, but he did spam that to APC, well, not APC, it's Heat, to try and get as much damage as he could to get the third mark. So consequently, he did make a loss, but it's only a tiny loss. 21,128 credits. So small loss, but big effect in the end of the game, and he did get that high caliber. 655 XP, 374 for the Achievements Award for getting uh, um, an Epic Medal or Battle Hero Medal in losing or drawn game, 540 for tactical training, 77 for this being a premium vehicle, and 2,161 experience points altogether. So at least he's got his third mark, that's on the barrel now, and there's no need for him to go any further on this. Of course, he wants to get to 100% like some uh, players like to, but uh, the fact of the matter is that he's proved now that he can make the M60 work, and uh, from now on, he can probably load the, the correct balance of ammunition so he can get the damage, get the job done, get the win, uh, and not have to spend too much in the process. I hope you enjoyed that lesson in how to handle the M60. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And please do remember to let other people know that our channel exists and that we've got a second one called The General where you can watch great me uh, great battles with pools medals being won, loads of tanks being killed and no commentary to spoil it. Thanks for watching.